From Gertie in E.T. to a trailer park Lolita in Poison Ivy, through to her memorable cameo in Scream, and then getting the box office juggernaut Charlie's Angels off the ground, Drew Barrymore has done it all. Drew appeared in her first commercial at nine months and her first movie at age two. Hardly a surprise considering her family history. The Barrymores were a distinguished family of actors and artists. And when adorable Drew was cast in Steven Spielberg's E.T. when she was just seven, her path to success seemed destined. The film was a huge success and endeared Drew to millions of audience members. But following leads in a few more films, notably Firestarter, Drew began to succumb to a destructive lifestyle defined by drugs, alcohol and too much partying. The industry began writing Drew off as just another failed child star, when in the middle of her teen years she went to rehab and cleaned up her act. Drew began to take roles that reflected her age and her world awareness. She played the seductive Ivy in Poison Ivy and the Vamp Sugar in Batman Forever. But it wasn't until she chose to take on a cameo role in Wes Craven's comeback film Scream that Drew's career underwent a transformation. She attributes her success in the film to the relationship she cultivated with Wes Craven. And we really got to know each other because it was really important for me to have a strong relationship with him and to have that trust so that I could look him in the eye and, you know, tell him my secrets of what, how to get me to that emotional level and just rely on him because I really needed him for this kind of a performance that you have to do because this is real acting. You know, to act sheer tear, crying your eyes out, hyperventilating the whole nine yards. I mean, it, this is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a hard job. Drew turned down the lead role because she found the role of Casey more challenging and the gamble paid off. A huge fan of Saturday Night Live and incidentally one of only two women invited to host the show more than five times, the other being Candace Bergen in the Five Timers Club, Drew met with Adam Sandler and agreed to take the role in his 80s romantic comedy, The Wedding Singer. I wanted to do a love story with somebody who I would really be in love with, and I would really be in love with Adam Sandler. He's willing to make fun of himself, and that's very appealing to people, because when anybody lacks a sense of self-consciousness, it is incredibly attractive. Praise indeed. And likewise, Adam returned the love. Drew's great in the movie. We had such a nice time hanging out together makes you feel happy and that's that's what she does in the movie in the movie and in real life she melts you in real life when i sit down with drew when i when i see her for for five minutes and she leaves i'm i'm left with a whole different mood she makes you feel uh she makes you feel happy drew continued to take offbeat roles in many different films she played a real life cinderella in ever after and her production company, Flower Films, produced Never Been Kissed. First-time director George Clooney cast Drew in his film Confessions of a Dangerous Mind opposite Sam Rockwell. And once again, she left a trail of happy colleagues in her wake. From the minute she was in, you know, she was doing duplex and she was working on other films too at the same time, but she was just, she just lit up the room. She'd come onto the set. It was the greatest, I mean, you know, it was, as good an experience as I've ever had with an actor. Well, Drew and I worked on Charlie's Angels, so we had sort of, that was kind of our rehearsal, you know, get to know each other, because we didn't have a lot of time on this one. And she, you know, she's, a, she's amazing, you know? I mean, she just lights up a room. I mean, she's a real movie star. You know, she's, uh, everybody likes Drew Barrymore. Drew's success as an executive producer continued with the remake of Charlie's Angels. The film was a huge success for Drew and cemented her reputation as a powerful Hollywood player and she was rewarded with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2004. Drew continued to act and produce and she was cast alongside Hugh Grant in music and lyrics. Drew is just great, I just love her. Um, she's spontaneous and she's really, really funny and she's uh, when she smiles there's uh, no amount of teaching or coaching or urging or <clears throat> pleading that, that, that can, can, can achieve that effect. It's just when she smiles, she takes the whole theater with her. It's just magic. Her co-star Hugh Grant could not speak highly enough of Drew. It's got to be Drew. I mean, she's, um, she's a mistress of this craft and uh, she brings a this incredible charm. You know, she's got that, uh, she's clever, but she's also got this incredible childlike charm. You know when a child smiles, you just have to smile as well. Uh, she has that as well, amazing innocence, but who turned out to be 
um, the, the perfect co-star, especially for me, because I'm, you know, a little bit neurotic, a little bit grumpy. And she just wouldn't have any of it and was very supportive, very um, uh, tolerant. And um, she's also, I, I would say of Drew, apart from being a, I mean, a brilliant actress, she's a very good bloke. She's, uh, her sense of humor is very mannish. And um, it was all very relaxed and, and, uh, and happy on the set in that respect. A byproduct of growing up in Hollywood, Drew's love life has always been the focus of much media attention. At present, she's been engaged three times and married twice. The woman loves love, and there's nothing wrong with that. She connected with the modern day search for love and took a role in He's Just Not That Into You. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have love, what is the point? But how we get there, the journey, is the most interesting, fascinating thing. Drew's directorial debut came with Whip It, a story about an all-female roller derby team. Drew's aim in getting behind the camera and telling this story was to inspire women. I think for young girls, it's just as important for me to give that message of find out who you are and fight for that and believe in it and be empowered by that and be true to that um, and don't believe that, you know, any brass ring is not within your grasp or any goal is not within your reach or that any limitation should be set upon you because I believe girls can do it all. And I think that's why this film was so personal to me because um, that's, I think, what Ellen's journey is really about is the discovery of that. I don't believe that you can't be your own hero. Um, and that's a huge theme of this movie, is be your own hero. And it's a line in the film that Kristen Wiig says. And uh, that and finding your tribe it, have been sort of the two most um, compelling things and themes in the movie, which has made me work on it, you know, six to seven days a week for two years now. Her lead actress, Ellen Page, was thrilled at working with Drew. Drew, first of all, is incredible, you know, and she's approached this and she's just absolutely thrown her entire heart and her entire being into this and always exudes positivity and just the greatest energy and that in general to have that you know as your director is an absurd gift drew found a fan in her on again off again boyfriend justin long when the couple teamed up in a rom-com with a difference in going the distance we just sort of thought it would be it would be bad to overthink it and just try and be honest and take the risk. It, we're playing characters. It's not a home movie. We're not being ourselves, but we could, you know, be very truthful about the, like, I certainly was truthful about the level of joy he makes me feel. It was clear the couple loved working together, especially when they got a bit loose on set. Um, I enjoyed watching that, actually. That was one of my favorite scenes. So I, saw I was so excited I showed characters. you, like, on the monitor yeah, the next day. Did. I was like, look, look yeah. what I did, like, like a kid. Oh, you're so crude and aggressive. I'm so proud of you. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's so good in that. Drew Barrymore is a real movie star. She's a former wild child made good and Hollywood loves a transformation story. Her positivity and charm is infectious and her free-spirited ways have won her friends, co-stars and audiences all over the world. The Barrymores should be very proud. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better, on screen and at mnc.tv.